With this we come to the next presentation, uh, Faisal Yousaf from UN Volunteers, keeping the dots connected for Rio Plus 20, volunteering for a sustainable future. Faisal, I will uh, open your presentation. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm very pleased to be part of this workshop and these this discussions here and and I think the topic we are attempting to cover here is very important. I see strong linkages with families, with students, with youth, with young uh, groups. And I think a common thread against all these topics we have discussed is the volunteerism. How volunteerism can help you know, connect different people, different topics, and different societies together. As you can see from the title of my presentation, I'm trying to cover how we can move forward from here. Because this <coughs> conference has really brought us together and think about how to connect the dots uh, between different stakeholders, between different topics, you know, and between different uh, people on this planet. And before I move further, I'm just curious to know how many of us are, uh, have some idea about connect the dots, uh, inspiration behind this conference. Uh, everybody's? Okay, perfect. <laughs> So just briefly, I think I just want to uh, give you a framework for this conference, which is happening in Bonn, a city which is trying to you know, uh, promote sustainable development worldwide. You know, it's a center for uh, international dialogue and you know, uh, negotiations for sustainable development in worldwide. Uh, and this conference is happening here within the, tenth, within the framework of 10th anniversary of International Year of Volunteers, which is happening to, uh, this year. And, and that's what IYB Plus 10 called uh, and you can see the orange reflects the volunteer part and, and the 10th anniversary of International Year of Volunteers and then the green part is about sustainable development and three pillars of uh, sustainable development, economic, social and environment. And, and a common thread across these three, three pillars of is responsive citizens, you know, how citizens can uh, be an actor of change and for sustainability. So really in this conference has brought <coughs> volunteerism issue and the sustainable development issues uh, together in, in Bonn and and within the broader framework of IY plus 10 and Rio plus 20 uh, consultation next year. I have been attending a couple of workshops and I was curious to know how people are talking, you know, what they're talking about with, uh, you know, uh, in terms of connecting the dots between environmental issues, sustainable development issues, and people's issues. And they were very interesting, you know, uh, quotations and, you know, ideas and uh, inspirations which I captured during the couple of workshops I attended. I'm, I'm sure there are many more. And I would like to share how people are connecting the dots here in Bonn at this very conference. Uh, somebody mentioned, you know, the, uh, we are the most irresponsible generation on this earth. And, you know, uh, and we need to make sure our future generations, you know, uh, uh, don't, you know, uh, 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 suffer because of that, because we are the most irresponsible generation on this planet. Uh, there was a very interesting uh, comment from somebody in another workshop. Uh, volunteers as renewable energy, source of renewable energies, because there's so much emphasis on renewables form of you know, uh, energy and, and uh, energy. So it was very you know, inspiring for me to see how people are connecting the dots between environment, between societies and citizens. And another interesting idea was environmental democracy. Again, most of you have touched upon this, in how citizens and how civic engagement can help bring better governance for environmental issues in terms of policies, institutions, and in terms of implementation and review of environmental policies as well. So it's very interesting to see how people are connecting you know, uh, uh, the issues of civic engagement, volunteering with, or with environmental issues and sustainable development. Uh, and the last two are civic energy. Yes. Again, you know, our energy we all have and how we can contribute to, to, you know, uh, to ensuring and protecting our environment and our climate. And the last one is uh, uh, volunteer land. And somebody said, imagine a world of six billion people <coughs> who all volunteer and then we have volunteer land which is ideal for all of us. We all contribute to that. I think there was very interesting ideas for me to look how people are connecting the dots, you know, uh, and thinking, you know, how we the citizens can participate in sustainable development uh, uh, going forward. Uh, keeping the dots connected way forward, uh, this is my, uh, you know, this is again, uh, as I was mentioning, you know, people have started to connect the dots from this workshop, from this uh, conference, and I think we need to move forward after that, and we need to keep those dots connected so that we have a holistic view on sustainable development. Uh, 
And this conference has really helped you know, uh, all of us to really think about you know, sustainable development pillars, economy, society, uh, citizen, and environment, how they all come together, and how we can all influence you know, Rio Plus 20 consultation next year from the perspective of citizen and civic engagement, and how would each individual can contribute to that. Uh, and you know, this conference will not stop here. It will continue to influence the outcomes and you know, upcoming consultations and conferences and global, on global agenda. Uh, I'm just going to you know, mention a few here. For example, the Global Volunteer Conference, uh, which is happening in two weeks' time from now, and, and it's, uh, it will be held in Hungary and with, in, in association with the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society, which has 13 million volunteers worldwide. So, so really, you know, we're going to link this outcome of this conference with that global conference because the audience there will be different. It's going to be more, uh, you know, policy makers and decision makers from uh, from developing countries coming together. And then after beyond that, you know, we will have two general assembly sessions on volunteerism in December as part of the International Year of Volunteers, 10th anniversary this year. Again, you know, what we are outcome and of this conference and discussion which are happening here and. They will also definitely influence the discussions there because member states, all member states will be there, and I think citizen, you know, voice from this conference will definitely influence those consultations in this, in December in New York as well. Uh, some of my, some of you might have heard about or are aware of a high-level forum on aid effectiveness in happening in Korea at the end of, towards the end of the year and. And I have already been meeting some of the participants uh, who will be there uh, from civil society and how they are looking at, you know, how they need to connect dots between, you know, uh, effectiveness of aid and delivery and how citizen can be, be part of that. And last, but not, uh, you know, the uh, Rio Plus 20 consultation next year, uh, and and I think it's very big for all of us here because most of us who are here are looking so at you. Can you speak a little bit slower? Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for. I know I speak very fast. <laughs> all right. So, and and I think we all know that MDGs uh, discussions uh, beyond 2015 are happening. Uh, there are already, you know, uh, global discussions happening uh, at, in, within civil society, within the UN system, and within the governments. You know how to look at. Uh, what's the future for you know uh, global development uh, beyond 2015? And I think uh, this conference, outcome of this conference, already or uh, people are reflecting on you know how we can uh, uh, influence those discussion as well. So, so I think this, this, uh, this. <laughs> uh, I can't stop it somehow. <laughs> so this, I think these. Uh, uh, conference, this conference will help you know, keep the dots connected for the future conference and consultation at global level. Uh, and, and lastly, I just wanted to mention that I was, I was looking at the Rio uh, Declaration, uh, you know, just refreshing my memories yesterday, and, and it's very interesting to, to know that it starts with the, uh, uh, with the significance of partnerships for you know, sustainable development. And this is a preamble starts with the uh, uh, you know, uh, looking at how partnership between different stakeholders can help achieve sustainable development goals. So, and I just thought it's very relevant for us because we represent different stakeholders here, and and year plus 20 is about partnerships, about discussion, about connecting the dots between different partners and different uh, sectors of you know, uh, and different people. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Faisal, for your presentation and really for this strategic approach of connecting the dots and uh, what role uh, volunteerism is uh, playing. It's really somehow the glue and uh, one of the common denominators that combines, uh, <coughs> brings together all these different stakeholders. And uh, with uh, UNV being so strategic, we can be quite optimistic that there will be really progress in Rio Plus 20 and with all these other motiv highly motivated stakeholders.